Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dehre Bagga and today I'll be playing the final blitz on Lee Chess. And during the game, I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before we start off with the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's start off with the game and see how it goes. Got the white pieces, playing a stronger opponent here, 2 turn 36 rated. I start off with d4, opponent plays c5, I'll take the pawn. Uh, play bishop maybe. Maybe take the knight as well. He does take with the queen. If he doesn't, can I play b4 as well? Okay, that attacks my bishop. But can I attack his queen first? Is that a wise idea? Let's play something different. Let's attack him. If he go, tries to come on the light square, we have pawn forward attacking the bish the queen with the bishop. If anywhere else he goes, I'd seen some problem with him. So yeah, queen goes to c7. Um, what have we got here? I can either play h4. I should play h4. <laughs> I should bring it back and then come here. Let's try to maintain this somehow. I don't know. This is not weak, of course. Uh, do I have a move like this as well coming? Queen attacking the knight. Not letting him play pawn forward. Now I haven't. And he's packing a couple of things. So what have I got here? I got to have queen somewhere. Lining up, defending this, as well as everything else. So nothing better than this maybe. And then he tries to play pawn forward, eyeing the bishop, trying to remove my queen. I can develop my knight, attacking his queen. He has been just moving his queen, so he has lagging on development for now. Okay, this way also bishop works. I attack the queen first. Let's see where he goes. I have bishop backwards. I can move my queen anywhere after this. Queen goes away. Okay, this... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is still saved. His queen is coming here. So can I exchange knights maybe? Even if he brings the bishop, I'm okay. I'll take with the queen if he does take. I have to be more precise with the calculations here. Yep, I can take now. Just trying to release some pressure. Then maybe I can place my queen here. Asking for queen exchange if he's really looking forward to. And did he just lose the queen? And resigns. Miscalculation on move number 11 by the opponent and it's game over. So whenever often plays a tricky different opening, why don't you try as well? C5 was bad. I took it. I should have actually crossed. Okay. But I went for it. He develops knight on f6. I go bishop, pinning the knight somehow. He tries to get his queen on f5, attacking the pawn. I defend. Yes, that was the best move to take the pawn, which he doesn't. And plays a knight instead on e3 there. I come up with another weird move, attacking the queen, not seeing my bishop. Queen goes back to the right square, which was c7. And then I get my bishop on h4. Just trying to maintain and hold on to the knight. Diagonal maybe opponent comes with the queen. So he's just moving his queen all around the places. Uh why didn't I play my knight forward? Because I was wondering if I happened to make this. Uh yeah, actually that would have worked better. Because of course he cannot take with the queen this pawn, so he has to like if queen was here, he cannot take with the queen. He lose the queen otherwise. So I could have played knight early as well. 
Prince said, I played queen to d3, that was also fine. Opponent plays d6, I attack the queen with the knight, goes up, uh, and then I offer him knight exchange, which he denies. So I took it, and he takes with the bishop. Ah, queen goes here. That's a nice move. Trying to pin the knight, uh, the bishop. Uh, I gave him the option to take the queen. I was okay because I knew that I have fair enough amount of development already in the game and initiative. He has to move the bishop now and I can take on the pawn. And then he takes back maybe. And as you see, uh, black is white is way ahead in the development and everything. Casting is one option. I can just free and my bishop. Find this diagonal where knight is not developed. Rook is still there. Pawn is stuck. And I can cast on the king side as well. His king is in the center. Not going to cast anytime soon because his bishop is also uh, trapped by the d6 pawn itself. So that was never going to be easy. But my opponent just blundered here, his queen. And of course I took it. He took on the knight and I took on the queen. And the opponent resigns. Uh, wasn't anything left there to be fought though. So yeah, I hope you like the video. Do let me know feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Uh, even 2036 rated players in leeches can make mistakes. So hang in there and you can have your luck as well. Take care. Bye-bye.